What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, Javante Tank Davis finally responds to fighting somebody he's familiar with that's right up the road and that he fought in the amateurs, and that's WBA Super Featherweight World Champion Lamont Roach Jr. Now, Lamont Rose Jr. has 25 wins, one loss, one draw, 10 wins by way of knockout, 29 years of age, 5 foot 8 with a 70 inch armage. But he's the 130 pound WBA champion. But he is from Washington, D.C. Now, I reported and I told you guys that it looked like they was going to move the date to December 21st, but now they have now pushed it back to the original date of December 14th. This is the sport of boxing as we know it. It is the wild, wild west. Javante Tate Davis is 30 wins, no loss, no draw, 28 wins by way of knockout, 29 years of age. He'll be 30 years of age in November. Um, by the time this fight takes place, Javante Tate Davis will be 30 years of age. So with that said, Javante Tate Davis is explosive southpaw, right? And he's going to be fighting Lamont Roach. And it looks like they're going to take it to Washington, D.C., the Capital One Arena, where he fought last January, January 7th of 2023, when he fought and took on and defeated Hector Garcia. Oddly enough, Hector Garcia is the guy that Lamont Roach just beat for the WBA title. And now, Javante Tank Davis beat Hector Garcia, Hector Garcia moves back down to 130 and loses to Lamont Roach. So they're trying to create this storyline and Lamont Roach is from DC. So they could sell a fight in DC. And Tank Davis did a $5.2 million gate at DC, in DC. And he's from Baltimore, right up the road. And you have the DC Baltimore rivalry. They're going to sell it as such. So Javante Tank Davis says, funny how life works. They're coming full circle. And they're going to fight in D.C. again, right? And Lamont Rose is a champion and Tank Davis is a champion, right? And then Tank Davis, he put salute to Lamont Roach, right? So, again, fans are not happy with this selection. Uh, I'm not happy with this selection, seeing as though Javante Tank Davis could have went a different route. He could have fought the likes of Shakur Stevenson. He could have pushed for that fight. He didn't. Uh, he could have pushed for a fight with Dennis Baranchik, a unification bout, as he stated he wanted to be undisputed at 135 pounds. But he's bringing up a 130 pounder, and he's the bigger guy. The question is, is he going to put a rehydration clause on himself against Lamont Roach? Because he's the bigger guy, as he does when he moves up in weight and he puts rehydration clauses or brings guys like Ryan Garcia down or Mario Barrios and uh, Jose Venezuela looking to have catch weights and rehydration clauses? Ah! Is he going to do the same thing? Because he's bringing up a, a guy who's smaller than him. Right? But nonetheless, this is what we're getting. And it's been announced now. It'll be December 14th again. Initially, it was December 14th. Then it turned to December 21st. Now it's back to December 14th. Boston is the wild, wild west. But drop a comment below and let me know what y'all think about this fight. How y'all see it playing out in D.C.? It'll sell. He'll do a, a, a huge gate. You got the D.C.-Baltimore rivalry. It's going to do well uh, unless it changes venues. So let's see how it unfolds. But drop a comment below. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV or one word. It's your boy Blue. I'm gone. Peace. <laughs>